<laughs> that was anticlimactic. You left? Yeah, you moved too slow. I moved too slow. Yeah, bro. He was sitting right here on the rock. Well, I thought we were about to go catch a peacock bass that quick. I'm here in Miami, my good friend Scott, but... Why didn't we catch a peacock bass, Chris? Chris wasn't ready to film. So. I need to... Oh, I was ready. But I need to preface this because the last video I posted, uh, I was in Texas. Very long story short, bad cold friends, bad rainstorms, tried to film a couple of videos in Texas, did not work out. I then proceeded to film three different videos at home in Chicago that all also didn't work out. One with John, one perch fishing, like it's been bad. It's a weird time here in Chicago where I can't ice fish and open water fishing's not that good. So I flew down to see this, this video is right here. And it's very windy, but uh, we're gonna try to catch some peacock bass today from shore. This is such a Florida house, too. There's like birds and parrots <laughs> everywhere. There's a tortoise right here. Like, is this normal for South Florida? Oh, no, pretty much. We got a tortoise and parrots and a lady that sees me filming her house. So we're just going to be fishing right here. Hopefully we catch a big peacock or two. Uh, I don't think we have too long to fish, but Scott's dialed, so we should be good. Okay, just through the nose, you through the lips. Just like that. Yeah, literally just like that. So peacock expert, what do I do? Do I just keep my bail open? Pretty much. When and with, they eat, just let them run for like two seconds and then close the bail, find the fish. Sometimes, I mean, if you run straight away, you're gonna close the bail and set immediately. But when they take it, they just rip, right? Yeah, usually. But and then if he like eats and then swims towards you, you're gonna have to reel down him a little bit before he's set. So I've been out fishing for peacocks, like how many times have we gone? Three or four times? Three times. Three times. So I've gone three times. I think the biggest fish I've caught is only like four pounds. Ooh, there's something taking it. Oh, this thing's getting wrecked. Is it or is it just your shiner? Oh, no, it got popped. Did it? Yeah, but it's not running anymore. Check it out. But the biggest peacock I've caught is four pounds. And Scott said it's very likely that I beat that on this pond. There's some... Probably parents somewhere. No, dude, they're like grown... They're... Oh, I one just got taken. Come on. I got one. See, Scott, they're this big. Come on. Is yours a little bigger than mine? No idea. This is the target species. That's the target. This is a peacock bass. Not exactly the size we're looking for, but a pretty and very unique fish nonetheless. Okay. Well, there's a school of bodies right there that are that big. Go ham? Yeah, totally really so I'm sure many of you are curious and are going to be asking, no, fishing with live shiners is not the only way to catch these fish. You can get them on artificial, you can get them on fly, but this is by far the most effective. And it also is still very fun. Is it possible for him to drop it? Oh my God, tiny he had that forever. Got to move. Yours? Another nice peacock. You said there's a big one right there? There is. I'm keeping him right around. I'm looking at him. Look at him, dude. See you, bud. How big? Three pounds? Three. Perfect, right now? Yeah, look at it right behind me. Yep. And he ate it. He ate it. He ate no, it. No, 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 no. No? Now he ate it. Get him. Set him? Rushed. <laughs> you said get him. We were we just, switching spots. We just walked up an absolute giant, dude. There's like it's like a seven pounder. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> you might just eat first cast, bro. There's a small male in the bed too. No, it's a small female. Well, in the small. Bed. The males are bigger. It's the male. Wow, I did Opposite. not know that. Yeah, we're gonna stand up here. Yeah, and we'll cast down to him. Dude, that was a big peacock. That's what he's gonna eat. That's the PB right there. Let's get him. Big fish is back. We're gonna catch just beyond him, let it fall in. He's gonna mess with it before he eats it. And before he actually takes it, you gotta stay composed and wait for the moment. Okay. So pitch beyond, let it fall down. He'll mess with it. The moment you see it eat and the line start moving, that's when you roll down. This is intense. This is yeah, one of the man. most intense fishing moments I've had in a very long time. You ready? Can I have the glasses? I feel like it helped me better than you. Unless you wanna call it out to me. I wanna call it. Okay. Sorry. Should we wait from the sun? 
If you want to wait, yeah, it's literally going to be 10 seconds. Yeah, he's back. This is intense. That's big. That's a seven pounder, bro, like you said. <laughs> okay, I'm casting. Him. Pull it just a bit to the right and let it fall right there. Don't Keep the do bail it. open. Don't do it. Don't eat a little peacock. Yeah, right there. Let it fall and you're good. Oh. Just be ready. <gasps> Didn't eat. Didn't eat. Mm, set. That was it. But you set the hook, bro. You broke it right on the rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> depressing. That's depressing. Shit. Instant break off on the rock. The second that line tightened, he was in the perfect spot around a rock. It's a big peacock, dude. When their eyes start getting those those cartoon eyes, that's when you know they're freaking huge. That was so I I don't even know if I royally screwed that up. That was just unfortunate. No, it was just bad luck. We're fishing from lands, which makes things a little more complicated. And this is all heavy limestone. So that fish ate, dove right below the rock, right as Chris set. I don't even think the rod bent. No, it didn't. Before the line like got instant. sliced by that rock. The weight of the fish and the power of the hook set, it was just instant. Which might help us because he's back. That fish didn't even feel it. It was such a quick cut. So yeah. he actually came back up. We're going to give him a couple minutes here. Throw in another circle hook. See if we'll eat. I hope I'm not sitting in like red ant nests. That would suck. How do you feel? What are the emotions running through your head right there? That was, I mean, honestly, when it broke, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's my luck. Crouch. Oh my crouch, god, crouch, it's crouch. huge. There's no joke when you're from land and they're on beds. If they look up at you, they can see you. Dude, it's huge. Yeah. All right, we can... As he comes up to it... It's not even up. sinking. It will. Oh, why is it not sinking? Dude, it's not sinking at all. It is. Slow. Might not be a bad thing, dude. <laughs> This is so tense. Close the bell. Don't reel, just keep it closed. Yep, you're good. He's on it. <gasps> Didn't need it. Didn't need nope. it. Set. Set. Got him. Back off to the right. To the right. Over the rod to the right. Okay. <laughs> go, 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 go. Right, Chris. What do you mean right? No, because that's shallow. To the sand. <laughs> this way. Heavy rocks over there. I'm walking to the sand. I'll stand up here and get a view. Yeah, grab that camera. This is a huge peacock. I'm trying to get... He if might you jump. can get him another 15 feet to the He's right. gonna jump. <laughs> Dude, this Chris, is a... All the way over. Dude, it's a big, beautiful peacock. Yeah. Yep, that's your Hell PB. Yes. That's your PB. You have nothing to high five me with, but give me some elbows. That's my biggest peacock, by a lot. So we have no way of taking measurements of this fish, do we? None. Perfect, right in the corner of the mouth. Wow, I'm really glad we didn't screw that up the second time. So we only had a couple hours of fish today, and Scott's like, hey, I have a pond I can take you to with some really big peacocks. And you did just that. We haven't been fishing for very long. We've barely fished this pond. This is a huge peacock. By far the biggest I've ever caught. They're such beautiful and aggressive fish, but that's why catch and release on these fish, especially the bigger ones, is so important. This fish was not hard to catch. At all. Yeah, it's very important to protect these fish. They're super cool, unique sport fish that we're lucky to have here in the U.S. They're not invasive like the snakeheads were. Grab some shots and let yeah. them go, right? Yes, we're going to grab some pictures because you can't not grab pictures of a fish of this caliber. We're going to let them go. So I'm wet. Um, Scott had me get in the water because Scott has a special love for these peacocks. So he told me for a big one like this and my biggest I've ever caught, I had to go a little intense. There's, I mean, I was wearing like there's really no reason to get in the water with khakis <laughs> at all. Um, and you're about to go to the airport. Yeah, and I'm about to fly home. So I hope this was worth it. However, for a big peacock like this, of course it is. If you guys want to do this and catch some big peacocks, be sure to hit up my good buddy Scott. Other than that, we're going to let this big fish go back. All right, we're going to let... Does he have a name? What do you call big peacocks? They have names. This one gives... Give him your own name. Give him my own name. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty, because he's got a huge-ass hump on his head. All right, man. See you, Humpty. Thank you to Scott for having me catch this peacock and ruining my khakis in the process. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. We're good. Okay. There well, he goes. Dude, there, you know what's funny about this is we're in such a residential environment. And let's be honest, most people in Florida are, are like old and retired. How many people do you think are watching from their windows saying, what the hell is going on right now? We are back in action with another shiner. New spot. You don't see anything? Oh, yeah. A couple little ones. 
It's gonna be hard to top the one I just caught, but that's okay. That's very okay. I'm gonna get him right now, you ready? Oh, oh, ate it, that's him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no! He didn't stick. Let's see if another one wants it. I, I guess that one does. I'm gonna guess that as well. My poor Shiner just got Aiden. Aiden? A Aiden? Is his name Aiden? Aiden, yeah, my Shiner's name Aiden. I'm gonna go catch an Aiden under this dock. Ooh, getting wrecked. Let him go. Get him. Not bad. I don't think it's small. It's somewhere in the middle. See if anything's behind him. It's a nice one. Yeah. Not bad at all. Dude, these fish are so fun. Well, look at the colors on this one. It's a nice fish. It is a nice fish. Oh. Ooh. The other fish cut me up pretty good. Scott, would you say this is very average size? Yeah, it's right around it. Very average size. Nothing wrong with it. Oh. Nothing wrong with that as the average size. No. It's maybe like two or two and a quarter. Dude, these barbs are no joke. I wish you could pinch it, crimp them, but. Uh, yeah, for the most part. Whoa. And another one. I haven't shown every single fish we've caught, not even close. How many think we've caught so far? I've probably caught like 10. Yeah, I was gonna say at least 15, 20. Hey, Sean. Another normal, schooly size Miami peacock. Schooly size? Yeah. Like Did they school. tend to school up in size? At this size they will. You get a group of them. Schooly size peacock. Oh, that's a schooly size limestone cliff I just hooked. Ouch, that sucks. All right, unfortunately I have to go to the cold. I think my flight leaves in like an hour and a half, but we're, we're still trying one or two more spots until I have to go home to cold Chicago. But good news with that is that I've been watching the forecast. I've been waiting for ice forever. It's like December 6th, I think, right now. And we are finally very close to ice on the Chicago suburb ponds. I think by this weekend, it's Thursday right now, by this weekend, I should be ice fishing, which is a very, very good thing. And I'm very excited for it. Did not take me long to put in a five pounder there. No. Like no, about 30 you did minutes. say that was a good spot. We went so, in, maybe fish an hour. I'm back in the car. I took off my sopping wet underwear and pants and uh, they're now in your car, so you're welcome. When you do the laundry, can you please put two dryer sheets in? No dryer sheets for you, Chris. <laughs> but I'm going straight to the airport. I had to change because, well, obvious reasons I had to change. But yeah, that was a very good day. Like I said, if you guys want to catch some peacocks like that. From always, the boat, though. Yeah, not from the by boat. Land. That's not his preferred way to catch fish. We just had a very small timetable, small window. Do we can't get empanadas right now. No, we cannot. Or coladas. No. That's upsetting. Yeah, good thing you'll be back in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with not only Cuban food, but also warm weather. I love the city of Miami, so I will definitely be back here sometime this winter. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Very, very out of the ordinary. I'm going to do a ton of ice fishing coming up. I know I haven't been the most active over the last couple weeks, but that's because, not because of a lack of effort. The fishing in the Chicago area has just been that meh, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.